Number two, representing Canada, Evelyn Walsh and Trent Michon. The second of their two Grand Prix assignments for Evelyn Walsh and Trent Michaud. They struggled in Las Vegas, but the warm up looked better. Start for Trent, he slipped a little bit on the split twist. Just a double toe for Evelyn. in America. Better here. What a shame, but again, as in Skate America, there seems to be a good connection between the team, good understanding of where they're at. As I said, there was talk of illness for Evelyn in the off-season, which must have happened in training. It's just really sad, though, having seen a better warm-up. And there did seem a better energy, they seem more confidence. Changing costume from the last event, they look good. With that opening... Triple twist paved the way for a tough skate. But wonderful to see still a positive reaction. And then their coach acknowledging. It's a shame. Here we go. Little slip from here. Him. Ooh. Good save. Could have been a lot worse. And here we'll see. Just two rotations in the air for Evelyn. She nailed some in warm up. And it's such a beautiful piece of music, The Lost Without You by Freya Ridings, that they use. It's obviously potential for a really gorgeous short program. Their coach, Alison Perkis, and the choreography staff as well alongside ice dance coaches Carl Lane and Yuris Razgalaev. Previously they'd worked with Eric Radford 
former two-time world champion from Canada as well on their choreography, but he now has returned to compete with Vanessa James. And now they'll be battling against each other to try and gain selection for Canada to compete in the Winter Olympics in Beijing. And at the start of it, I thought we were going to This is a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice move. Just sat face to face. Yeah. You can hear Trent just saying well. the ice feels a little bit weird. Sword, please. The temperature in the arena can affect the ice surface and feel just a little different to the skaters.